Now, young people, boys and girls, past few weeks we have been thinking, what is the Bible like? And I've been telling you the Bible was like a lamp. I've been telling you the Bible's like honey. I told you last week the Bible's like milk. And I trust you'll be able to listen and learn from what we said about milk. But I want to tell you something else what the Bible's like. The Bible is like water. Now think of this. In the book of Ephesians... In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26, we read these words, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. And that's a reference to Christ and Christ's work. Paul wrote, husbands, love your wives. How? Even as Christ also loved the church. And when he mentions the church, he then adds and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So we're going to think, what is the Bible like? The Bible is like water. Now, what does water do? Well, one thing that water does is water cleanses us. Boys and girls, when your hands are dirty and you're going to eat your dinner, what does mummy say? Go and wash your hands. And you wash them with soap and water and your hands become clean. Now, the Lord Jesus said to his disciples on one occasion, now you're clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. You see, the word of God has a cleansing effect. And I heard the story one time of a little boy and the mummy was entertaining some very, very important guests. And she told this little boy, do not go into the dining room. Do not go near the dining table for I have it set. And do not be taking any of the grapes that's on the table. And she had some lovely bunches of grapes. Well, of course, he went to bed and he was lying in bed. What was he thinking of? He was thinking of the grapes. So he tiptoed down the stairs very quietly. Mummy was in the kitchen, busy. Didn't see him slipping past the door into the dining room. And as he was about to put his hand in the grapes, grab a handful of them, run back upstairs and gobble them all in without mummy knowing, there was a wee verse of scripture come into his head. And you know what the verse of scripture was, boys, girls? Thou shalt not steal. And in a moment, he ran out of the dining room and rushed up the stairs and jumped into bed. You see, what was happening? The word of God that he had read, the word of God that he had learned in the Ten Commandments came home to his mind and revealed to him that he was going to do something that was wrong, something that his mummy would have been very displeased about, but he was also going to break the um, uh, word of God. He was going to disobey what the Bible uh, taught. And if you want to be clean, then we urge you to come to the Sunday school and Listen and learn the Word of God. We want you to lift up a copy of your own Bible. We want you to learn that Bible. We want you to take it into your mind and then begin to live it out as God gives you help. Water cleanses us. Now you're clean through the Word that I've spoken unto you, Jesus said. But something else about the water. The water nourishes us. What do we say? Mm, really lovely. Thank you, William. You see, water has great benefits. And I have noticed this past little while, whenever baby Amelia, who's now, what, near 11 months, down at our house, every morning, as part of her breakfast, she gets her feeding cup and it's full of lovely, cold, refreshing water from the fridge and she is picking it up and drinking away at it. Now, that's better than milk. And I believe it's also better than orange juice and it's better than Coca-Cola. Nobody here would be drinking Coca-Cola, I hope, in the morning. But anyway, water nourishes us. You know, if you want to lose weight, people tell you to drink water. If you've got a sore head, maybe you have too much chocolate, well, drinking water supposedly stops headaches. It's also good for your skin. It fights infection whenever the late um, 
Molly was still living. We used to encourage her during those five years she was at our house to keep drinking plenty of water every day because it fights infection. And one time the doctor come and talked about delirium and said it was due to the lack of intake of water. And you see, um, the reality is we probably don't drink enough water. We should drink more because water keeps you healthy. It's good for your skin. It keeps your blood thin. And, and so many other wonderful benefits. If you talk to the doctors and talk to the nutritionists, they will tell you that water is good for you. Water nourishes us. It, it, it's a very important part of our physical life, but it's also a very important part of our spiritual life because the Word of God nourishes us. It, it strengthens us. It, 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 it satisfies us. It, it, it's, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful blessing. And I'll tell you something else about the washing of water by the Word. It not only cleanses us and nourishes us, but it sanctifies us. In other words, it sets us apart. And I've discovered something really strange. The word water is mentioned 722 times in the Bible. More than faith, more than hope, more than love, and more than even the word prayer. You see, the Word of God sets us apart. The Word of God makes us to be... When we lift up the Bible and we learn the Bible and take it into your mind and begin to live it out, we're, we're, we're different from other people. We're separated. And that's what the word sanctifies means. It means we are set apart for a sacred and holy use. And I trust today that we'll remember what the Bible's like. The Bible is like water that cleanses, water that nourishes us, Remember, we don't drink enough, and then we should spend more time with our Bible, reading and studying the Bible. And the water can sanctify us, the water of the Word. Let me just ask this question. We're now into the 15th day of January. In your Bible reading, how much time do you spend reading the Bible? Do you read one chapter or two? Maybe you don't read any. And does not show a, 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 a mindset and betrays a spirit of, of our attitude and thought to the Word of God. If we love the Scriptures, we'll receive all these wee pictures of what the Bible's like, and that will bless us and do us good. Right? Next week, I think we'll maybe look at the, the mirror. All right?